Everything Messi's doing, he's doing right. And you're seeing this Argentinian team, which I think has got a great possibility of beating Brazil in the final. It's not easy in Maracanã. They never won there um, in any final that they played against Brazil in the World Cup. But I think this is the greatest opportunity that they have. The pressure is always going to be on, on Messi because he hasn't won yet and everybody is waiting for him to do it. Whatever he does with Barcelona, everything that he has accomplished there, he can't do it with Argentina, even though he's the leading goal scorer, even though he played more games than anybody else. But the, the titles are not there. in a trophy it was the Copper America back in 1993 since then Brazil have won it five times as well as collecting two World Cups we're hoping for some on the pitch as well collected by Lucas Paqueta the man who has uh, scored in both as the the go-to guy for Brazil, but they do have quality players throughout the rest of their team. Lucas Paqueta in particular has been... He, uh... When he joined the game in midweek against Colombia, his side were just off the pace of those options, both wonderful goalkeepers. He was looking to utilise the pace of Di Maria. Pace is perhaps an area that uh, Argentina will look to exploit. Thiago Silva looked a little bit slow in the semi-final success against Peru. Los Elso, who played a fine pass to uh, help carve out the chance for against Colombia in the semis. It also goes on. Well, it's great to see. And another collision time, lobbying the referee for a yellow card. A potential kick to the face of one of the players. Got a bit lucky there, Christian Romero. He got very fortunate there, Romero. Just the pace at which Richarlison closed him down. Now Messi and danger. Lost his way. Richarlison's lost his too. Here's Depaul. Montiel. Here's Messi. Di Maria, Messi, they've worked that well. Both of these star men are on the turf. Some of the decisions early on. Yeah, well, it's been very stop-start in the opening of this. Here's Paredes. Messi for Di Maria. In the seven previous games between them in the Copa played in Brazil, the hosts have never lost. That's a good pass, Di Maria could be in, what a chance, and what a finish as well! Argentina lead, thanks to a moment of magic from Angel Di Maria. They are making a right racket. The players, they know they have the ability to get back into this game, to score a goal at... Neymar, Casemiro, Lionel Scaloni has uh, used eight since the 2018 World Cup Finals, but... Emi Martinez. Guys, he's had in the past the character to give it out to the penalty takers and just try and put them off the stride. That's a sign of a, of a player full of confidence and belief in themselves. In that shootout and Lionel Messi just came up a touch short. He's been involved in all 11 of uh, Argentina's goals at the tournament, either by scoring or providing an assist. Di Maria, now Messi. Worked on for game, how he finished the semi-final. Allowed Di Maria in behind to run it. His team sent to half to run at Thiago Silva. Looking to find a little pocket of space, a shorter pass. Argentina have a real game plan here tonight. Argentina in a friendly in Saudi Arabia in uh, 2019. Only goal of that game scored by Lionel Messi. Messi leading the charge now, Brazil have numbers back, but Messi's on the move. Well stood up by Marquinhos, still got the effort in though. Asking for the free kick, but I think that was good defending from Marquinhos. The game hasn't really got to the pace. Oh, there he is. 
my team have had them. Which is possible when Brazil have their back to goal. Not giving them the opportunity to get turned easily. Space for Di Maria. Now Messi. Los Elso. Oh, nearly. Half time score of Argentina 1. Brazil nil to nil. And we thought that Brazil needed to change something. And during the interval, he was letting it run. Here's Messi, who will run. First time he's really had some open space in front of him. Offload. Clever. It's intelligent. Lovely stuff. Tease it up for Di Maria. He's equal to Mario Zagallo as the Brazil manager with the longest unbeaten run in the competition's history. For me, I don't see it myself. I think when you're... It's worked its way back to Messi. It's good defending. Two a okay. Messi. Di Maria will chase. And red and load. Messi. Di Maria one way, Messi going in alone, Messi, brilliant stuff, goes over, doesn't get the decision. On that far side of the field. Messi was caught by Renan Lodi. He's Argentina. Di Maria finding Messi, looking for the angle for the shot, couldn't find it. Martinez, no foul there though. Neymar on the charge. Richarlison. Can't find it. Scaloni on that, here is Cry. I'd say have drifted into those spaces. I don't think the from Tite. The, the desire to win this football match. Messi has worked that well. Dangerous ball. Challenge. Seemed like he got enough of the ball. <laughs> Neymar went over. Doesn't get the fee. A 20-minute uh, period that the referee is going to have to concentrate more. It's enough of a touch on the ball. Montiel. He went to ground early, but a great tackle. Neymar, collected by Messi. Very clear that he saw nothing untoward there. Collected, though, by Vinicius Junior. No way through. It will... I feel at this stage of the game. All credit to him. For De Paul. Messi wants it back. Here he is. Is this his moment? Oh, no, it's not. Would you believe it? Lionel Messi with the chance to wrap up the Copa America for Argentina. Messi. Stuff. Spin just goes against him. He doesn't quite manage to keep that in, but a bit of play before it. Libra, tiro libre. Argentina quiere ser campeón. Señoras y señores, se va a terminar. For Argentina. The wait is over. Their first title since 1993. And they have done it in the backyard of their arch enemies. Celebration time for the Albi Celeste at the Maracanã. And this is Lionel Messi's moment. Six-time Ballon d'Or winner, 10 La Liga titles, four Champions League triumphs with Barcelona. And now he can finally celebrate winning something with Argentina. And look how much it means. The wait is over. Their first Copper success since 1993. And they've done it in the backyard of their big rivals, Brazil. What a night for the Albi Celeste. And Lionel Messi finally has a title with his country. Argentina are the 2021 Copper America champions.